Adam Bruin says, for any movement to gain momentum, one must start with a small action. Well, with all of the changes and disruption that we've all experienced over the last two years, and let's be honest, they can, it continues. And it's we can either look at it as a great opportunity to reset leadership norms, team norms, cultural norms, value-driven norms, or we just keep going doing the same things. The real question is will you take action to make the most of the opportunities that have arisen? Brene Brown says, what we know matters, who we are matters more. Leadership starts with who you are, because who you are is how you lead. Um, because how you do any, anything is as a result of who you are as a human, uh, human being. If you're fearful, if you don't, if you self-doubt, if you um, have a big ego, these are all going to affect the way that you lead and it's going to affect your effectiveness as well. So let's start with the first two steps on the roadmap to courageous leadership. First step is clarity. Are you clear about who you are now, like your strengths and your weaknesses? Do you also have an aspiration as to who you want to be? You'd be happy for people to say, wow, that Jim Smith, he is X, Y, Z. Who do you aspire to be? How do you want to lead? What do you want to be known as a leader? How do you want to interact with everybody on a daily basis, your teams, your counterparts, your fellow leaders, if you're in a leadership role? Are you clear on your personal values? Are you clear on your organisational values? Have they been operationalised into behaviours that can be measured, like KPIs? That really leads to accountability in organisations. Secondly, are you clear on your purpose? You know what you, what you do. Most of you know how you do what you do. But why? Why do you do what you do? Dollars is not a purpose. It's a reason or a result that is achieved because of you doing what you do. There are more steps in the roadmap to courageous leadership. I've only just briefly touched on the first two and I'll discuss other steps over the course of other videos. But I want you to know that you, yes, you have the power, you have the ability to turn your life, your leadership, your teams and your culture around within 12 months so that you do build a courageous culture, leadership team, all performing at higher levels. But it takes action. It takes decision, then action to take consistent small steps. It takes commitment to uh, consistently resolve that we're going to be um, acting this particular way following this proven roadmap. Momentum begets momentum. And the best way to start is to start. It's Jill Pinchina. Are you going to start? To be a courageous leader, you have to get outside of your comfort zone and start.